Hi guys, it's been a long time since I've played Eco and a fairly decent amount of time since I last recorded a video. I do apologise, as I said last week, uh, my computer, uh, my main computer decided that the graphics card didn't want to work. Uh, so at the moment I'm actually using that as a server for my Eco game. I'm running the, my, the actual client off a separate uh, computer, that's why it's running relatively smooth. The graphics card on this one's not as good as my main computer, but at least it works. So, as you can probably tell, a lot of the graphics settings have been turned down. So, a few notes, this is not regarding the game, this is a few notes regarding upcoming videos. What's going to be happening, as soon as I get the graphics card working on the main computer, I'm actually be going to record prog uh, my games separately, externally, on the current computer, which will become the recording computer. And so that means that I'll be able to put the CPU, the bitrate, and all that up, so you'll actually see it a bit more clearer. And I can also convert videos at the same time as I record them so that will be much quicker for me personally. So that's the notes on the computing side. Now on this this game uh yeah I'm ignoring that. Um as you can probably see I've planted a few trees myself and a few have grown down here. When I originally generated this terrain um there were no trees. Well, there probably was trees, but nowhere near where I was. And this map is actually quite big. It's about 10 kilometers squared or something, so it's like four times the size of a default eco map. As you can tell, it's taken a long time. Uh, this bit tends to lag for this computer when it's uh, t uh, generating a little bit of terrain. But as you can see how much bigger this map is in comparison. This square is where my base is. Uh, if I can try and close that, there we go. Um, this is my base that as you can see I've put things up temporary. I'm going to be using them later. These are the ones that I use for like making steel and stuff. Um, I have spawn things in mainly because to get the research because as, as I said there was no trees so I obviously had to give myself wood which is why if you look up here I still haven't done the, the very first tutorial uh, chopping down trees and laying a foundation I haven't done that because I never got any trees to begin with so I spawned in like a small tier 2 house just so that I can get the research done and get a whole bunch of stuff done. In here, so this is version 7.5, so it's got all the new, like the machine stuff is. So they've done away with the factory from 7.4 and it's all been put into the machine table, as you can see. Uh, so you've got electronics assembly, which I have built. It's sitting outside. Uh, I was just taking a look at it. I actually put something in here to get built, so it must have finished. Yeah, this. Uh, so I'll place this down because I want to have a look at some of the new stuff that's been added. Obviously, I can't put it in here because it's too big. But we'll take a look at it. Obviously it won't work outside, but we'll have a look, uh, see what the new stuff is. Because there are new things. So robotic uh, assembly line, which will give us such as the crane and stuff. So I was like, I can't build any of that yet. I'm going to redesign this building so that I can fit everything in it. Basically it's going to have three layers. Uh, the bottom layer is going to contain these uh, furnaces, uh, it's going to have maybe the assembly lines or you know, the machine factories. The second layer 
is going to be storage, so like stockpiles and stuff will go in there. Uh, and the top layer will be like the machine stuff, like the gears, the gearboxes, uh, the wheels and stuff. So that's the way that I'm going to lay this out. Uh, so that can have a decent amount of everything because they do take quite a long time and at the very top I'm going to have my oil, oil set up so that I can have plastic and gasoline and stuff or I might put it at the back of the building and just have the, the oil refinery on the top or something along those lines so yeah that's that uh, this belt something but I think I took it away uh, this is the only research that I'm still doing shouldn't have long that's got half an hour that's fine that's the big thing the cutting edge technology that's like the thing it takes forever to do and I don't really use it but I might as well have it uh, I might use it later on so yeah uh, the reason I've got on an external computer at the moment is because it requires a lot of resources and if I run both the server and the client on this computer it would not work. Um, give me two seconds folks, as you can probably tell my throat is dried up, I'm going to go and get a drink of water so I shall be back. Okay, let's see. Where are we? So, um, as I say, I've only spawned in stuff to help me with research. Uh, everything else I've done it through machines or the smeltery or whatever. Um, are those things still there? I thought I cleared these. For some reason, it won't let me remove these. Oh, now it's getting letting me get rid of them. It must have been bugged before. I'm gonna need to let that sail so I can get rid of the markers because they're putting me off. I should have done that while I was away getting a drink. Once it's generated this bit here, it shouldn't take too long, but it, it lags like hell when it's doing it. Uh, on this computer that is obviously but once I get my other computer back up and running which might be another month I had a, I tried to fix it myself I took the graphics card out and just plugged it back in maybe that's all it needed but no it's still not working uh, we're nearly there I think we've loaded right so we'll remove that one we'll remove that that one, I could have just deleted all the markers, but... Right, the markers were putting me off, that's why I wanted to get rid of them. So let's take a look at the stuff that we can currently make now. Uh, there was a, a change to the stockpiles, which are these. Uh, this thing here, as you can see there's crates now. Basically what those crates are, are stuff that used to just be in storage chests, so like plant fibers, or pitch, or you know flower, you know actual items. But um, I've got a lot of plain pots. I don't know why. So yeah, that's what these crates are now. So you can actually stock items in these stock piles, although. I think they've reduced the size of these. These used to be um, somewhat bigger, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure they were, but stockpiles had more slots. Same with the storage chests, I think they've cut them down in size. I don't know if it's just because my UI is bigger. Hold on, let me try something here. Nah, maybe it's just my UI, because I've, as you can see, I've made my, I've stretched over a bit. 
Maybe the, maybe it's the same size. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Well, I'm gonna probably. We've got all that. We've got a load of copper. We've got coal. I think that's copper. Yeah. So I think the plan is to start digging a massive hole. Get all the stone out. Get all the bricks getting made. So that we can start working on expanding don't really need that up there now because I'm going to put this on the other side because I'm going to extend the house the building out that way so yeah So I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let, well, don't have to wait for the research, I suppose. We can start building outwards. I want a 10 by 10 radius. One, two, that's it. Easier. Grab some bricks. Then we can calculate. And I'm going to redesign these. As you can tell, that was like the very basic brick layout which I only had at the time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it is a ten by ten. I'm going to make it twenty then. Two, three, four, five. Actually, 20 may be too big. I'm going to make it taller though, because it's not tall enough. Because I'm going to put the furnaces in at the bottom. So I'm going to need to cut the roof off. And what I'm going to do with the layout, I'll probably show you uh, here. If we get a shovel. So if you dig. Actually, I'll need to put the bricks away first. So, see if you dig under. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have all my pipes going into one pipe and then having the pipe going underground and then far away out to sea. Because obviously, I, I don't want the pollution near me, so I'm going to just pipe it far away and then maybe pipe it up to the sky or something so the earth doesn't get too polluted and yeah obviously all, my, all the machines will all be connected via pipe as well so that they'll just run and we won't have to see all the smoke there's a lot of sirens outside seems like something's on fire again hold on two seconds folks that's coming up this way Hmm. Obviously, I can't see it because I'm facing out the back window, but. Oh, okay. Well, my, bin my window faces out the back way, but. Uh, if I looked at my kitchen window, I'd probably see what's going on. Just heard a whole lot of sirens, that's all. Right, so let's see how are you? Be about 10. Yeah, not 10 and 20 minutes or so. So I suppose what we could do is if we go here and say, what is brick, mortar, stone, and stone in it? Oh, is that just stone? So we don't need mortar. That's good. Uh, so. Say, well, let's do the calculations, right? 
and we'll know how much stone we'll, uh, bricks we'll need. So this one's roughly a 10 by 10, 4 high. I would say there's about maybe a couple of hundred bricks in this one. So it's going to be 15 by 15 and then it's going to be 5, uh, say, 10, 30 high. 6,750 bricks, apparently. <laughs> Surely not. Okay, well the thing is we can only put 500, well, we'll do... No, that's a blue mirror, we don't want 999 blue mirrors. 9999. So we need... A lot. We need... Uh, 998 pitch, 3996 stone. So... Let's go in here and we'll say uh, pitch. You're going to need 9999 pitch, which we're going to require a whole shit ton of sand. <laughs> oh, yes, this is going to be fun. <laughs> That's going to be 39 minutes, and it's going to need 182 sand. I suppose what I could do is a sand outside, isn't it? I suppose I can cut this sand out. I should probably use the big shovel for this, because it's going to take forever with this. Well, it was, we'll say we need 200 sand, we'll just tell this to grind the sand. a lot of stone, basically. Fine. Well, let's get mining. Stone. No, oh, I'll show up in a minute. It's the same I've not got a connection. I'm telling the server to do too much right now. <laughs> but we need all that stuff, so we need. See how it's running. That's completely freezing up on me. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't tell it to <laughs> do any more. Com that our computer's not even running anything but the server. It's just showing you how slow it is. Maybe wait for it to reconnect. to do too much, haven't I? Oh, God. Hello. 
think it's making its way around. Do I need to do this again? I guess I do it. Oh, you just hold in, don't you? Forgot that, you just hold it, you don't need to press it. connection again. <laughs> I mean that stone we need to ridiculous. Well we are extending the house quite big. Well, it's not even a house, it's a factory technically. I think it's dying. I think I tell, told it to do too much. Even though the other computer seems to be running fine. Hmm. I'm gonna be leaving it on anyway, so. Oh, finish. So much stone. Oh, that's cool. 
Don't know the new call though. I suppose it's good to have. How much? We better have that first. Just makes the pitch. Can I pause you? No. Oh well. Plant. Bang. Do 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 do. Where's the meteor? Don't know. We're about somewhere. Pick it up. It's going to be a long time. Stick all the stuff I don't need. I've got enough material for it, so I'm gonna make another stockpile. And I'm gonna put everything else in the other stockpile. So this one's just for brick. Brick, 
So the only thing that was in this stockpile was just brick. So that's going to need a lot of space. because it's just going to go used up anyway. Let the game just froze. I don't know why, but it has. Shit, it's ever fine. Uh, connection lost. I don't know why. We'll head back in. So much stone. Hmm. Hey, Doug. Um. Ramp. I only need one map. So I'm going to put a ramp, and then I'm going to get. A yeah, it's a ramp, right? Zero. Yeah. 
hold it. And we'll go for a cart. I only need one. No, of course there's going to be more than one. Uh, Gav. Wooden. Wood cart. This means we can put them down a bit more. I like how the items actually show up and things now. It's the same with any other resource. You can actually see them. And the carps. Is that iron? Or does it just look like iron? I just saw a spot, I don't think it was iron. for over half an hour. Cart can take a lot. Okay, surprise. Right, so how much we got in the cart? Uh, we'll just fill it up, might as well.
all we do is link it to the pitch like so That's all that one needs, and then we just link it to the other one. Oh, I guess we need to do it this way. So if we connect this one to the car, and you can take that as well. So the pitch has got enough stone to make it. So I need just to just gather the rest of the stone. Oh, no, don't put the bricks in there. Because it's closer to it, it's just putting the bricks in there. And I need you to unhook from the... back. I don't want the cart full of brick. So I'm going to go off camera for a while and uh, offline from the server because I'm going to go be going for a little while and I'll be back a little bit later on tonight uh, record another video for the next time. So until then, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it today, I certainly did. I only just put the server up today. So yeah, stick them in here and do that, grab that, I'll quickly research this, let's stick that in with the rest of them, and that's all research done. but I might as well get it. So I'm going to leave the research table up, even though I don't need it. But I'm going to tear, tear all this down anyway, eventually, to make way for the bigger house. It's probably going to be 15 by 15, maybe 20, I'm not, maybe 20 by 20, I'm not too sure. We've got lots of bricks being produced, so... And saying that, the inside... No, that's going to get took away anyway, that bit. Uh, the roof will probably be stone. So I might make stone as well. Uh, mortared stone, that is. Uh, we'll let the bricks finish first. So until next time, folks, thank you all very much for watching. And take care, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.